Welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn different events in the LV report. We will learn the events like initialization, add selection screen output, add selection screen, and add selection screen on value request. The first one that is initialization, we use this event to put some default value on the screen. So whenever any program is loaded, this is the first event which gets trigger, and this trigger only one time at the loading of the program after load of the program, and we can use this for setting up some default value on the screen. Second, add selection screen output. This events act as a PPO, that is process before output. So when you are doing any modification on the screen with some user command or to some other inputs, this event will get triggered and act as a PPO. The next is add selection screen. This acts as a PAI, that is process after input. So whenever we enter anything on the screen, if you press enter, this is the first event which will get triggered. And after this, the PPO, like before displaying the screen. And the last one that is add selection screen on value request. Like this mostly we use to provide some F4 help or to perform some other task on a particular field. For example, we have four fields on the screen. And if you press F4 help on a particular field, Okay, and we want instead of standard search help, some other perform routing to be executed that we can add in the perform routing under these events. Okay, so we log into our system and we'll see all the events one by one. So this is a program which I had created. Now what I have done as my old system is not working. So I have copied that program into another system, the same code. Okay, so in this program, I will add the events. So this is the output of the program. So I copy this program in a separate system with some different name. So what I will do, I will add the events in this program. The same program which I created. Now here, to add the first event. So what we'll do, after the selection is screen and before the start of selection, here we'll add the initialization block. Okay, and what I will do currently, as you can see, there is no default date on the screen. Here we don't have any default date. So by default, I will add 365 days in the from and today's date in the to date. Okay, so how to add that? S underscore A date. So add this select option. So in select options for each select field, we have four options like sign. That is here we have to add I because we want to include this second S A date option. Whether it is EQ between single etc. So here I will add BT that is between. Then in the low, I want to pass today's date minus 365 days. Okay. And S underscore A date high will equal to today's date. For every select option, we'll, we have to fill four parameters, like four values, sign, option, low and high. And after that, we have to do append s underscore a dead. If you forget to append, this will not proper not work properly. Okay, activate and execute. Now, if I execute, as we can see by default, one year previous year date until today's date. Okay, this will come based on our setting, whether it is decimal slash etc. Okay, so this is how we can use the initialization to set some default value. So after like once it is appear on the screen because we are not modify the screen. So still user can like remove the date and execute. 
but by default some data will appear on that screen. Now next event we will see like add selection screen output. So what I will do for that first I will add three radio button selection okay let's say selection screen is skip to add one black line and to add the radio button use parameters my first radio button is r underscore all radio button group grp and here i will use user command cmd i will explain what why i'm using this user command second i will take let's say r underscore r2 radio button group grp or this one i will remove uh, i will mark as r1 okay select so r1 r2 and r3 radio button group grp so three radio button i have added on the screen now what is my requirement here see currently if i execute this program you can see all the all the purchase order type in the output like document type is nb fo ub so what i will do on one i will set all document type for one i will set only nb and for last R3, I will set like FO plus UB. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So first we'll go to text element and we'll add some text for the radio buttons. Let's say R1 is all, this is NB and let's say others. Okay, we can give any name here. Okay, all NB and others. Now what I want, whenever the radio button NB, that is R2 selected, in the purchasing document type, by default, I want NB. And this field should not be editable. This should be in the display mode. Only for all, this should be editable mode. So how to do that? Again, add a new event, add selection screen output. And here, like if, R underscore if R underscore R1 is if R underscore R1 equal to X or you can say like is not initial is not initial then clear I want to clear all the default values of BS ART with the body icon now else if R underscore R2 is not initial so what I want to do, I want to set S underscore BS RT sign equal to I S underscore BS ART option equal to let's say EQ then S underscore BS ART it is not equal to it is iPhone and in low, I want to pass my document type as NB and I don't want to pass any value in the high. So what I will do, I will append S underscore BS ART. Okay. And for the last one, what I will do, else if R underscore R3 is not initial, this time I will add two values. See here what I want. If this radio button is selected, I want to append value as FO framework order and this time I want one more order. So like this we can group together based on our requirement. Okay. Now whenever as here I use the user command for radio button group. Here for this radio button group, first this is a group. This means that we can select only one radio button at a type from one group. And because here, as here I use user command. So whenever we select any radio button from this group, this event will get triggered every time. Okay. And the respective logic will be performed. So just execute this. Before that, one more thing. Here in the initialization, set one default value. 
if r underscore r1 is initial and r underscore r2 is initial and r underscore r3 is initial by default first time all the radio button will be initial so i want to set my first radio button as x save check and activate now here if i execute See by default the force is selected, this is no value is there. So as soon as I select NB, see here we can see the value NB. Now if I select others, so we can see here NB, FO and UB because I not clear the value. So what I will do, I will clear the value first and also I will display this in the display mode for those two radio button. Okay, so what we have to do? First, clear this BS ART in every radio button. All the radio button will to clear this value. Now, to display the radio button, sorry, to gray out the field, what we'll do here, add modify ID. We can give any three digit ID here, DIS, that is display. And here, like loop at screen. If you want to modify and play with the screen field, then we have to make a loop at the screen and inside this we have to write our logic. Now if r underscore r1 is initial, this means that my either second radio button is selected or third one. Okay, and what I want to check is initial and screen group one there are four group group one two three four so by default that display value dis will come in group one equal to dis so what i want to do here screen input equal to zero input equal to zero means it will be in display mode only and modify screen and if Okay, save, check, and activate. Now this time if I execute, see currently it is all. Okay, if I execute this, you can see all the document type NB, F, O, U, B. Now what I will do, here I will select NB. See now this is gray out. We cannot edit the data. And if I execute this, you can see document type in the output only as NB. Now if I select third radio button, others, this time you can see FO and also here you can see some data is there. Okay, the UB is there. But this is as this gray out, so we cannot click here. Now if I execute here, see this time it is FO and UB. Now again if I select all, so it is open, we can enter any value which we required. Okay, so like this we can make use of this event. So till now I have explained two events, initialization and add selection screen output. And two events are remaining, that is add selection screen and add selection screen on value request.